What I tried to capture in here, and it's so powerful, I tried to write about the energy of men who women adore. They get a free pass. I tried to write about what, is it, what do they have, what are the qualities that they have, what is the spirit that they have. And you know, if you, if you, if you, if you start from here, which is the center of gravity as a man here, I don't know anything about chakras, but if you do, imagine your center, whatever, chest, heart chakra. You start from an energy force from here as a man, okay? This is, this is incredibly important. You start from here like this. Your energy as a man moves out into the world from here. And it goes up and out. It goes like this. And it's a beautiful masculine energy. This is you being charming, being humorous, being inviting, being gracious. This is you saying, Do you, would you like some more wine? This is you saying, hey, can I get your coat for you? This is you telling a joke. And this is you, hey guys, nice to meet you. This is a great, beautiful, upper energy, masculine beauty. Charm, empathy, uh, sympathy, uh, humor, all these beautiful qualities of man. Comes from here and moves out into the world. Imagine you're on a job interview. Everything about you is high. You're sitting across the table from the interview. Yes, I did this. And you, even your eye contact is high. You can feel it, right? You're like lifting, you're, you're straight up as an arrow like this, and you're like, yes, and yeah. And now I did this, and yeah, and you're, everything is high energy, and it's a beautiful energy. It's a beautiful masculine energy. And it's needed. Okay? Now imagine from the same center of gravity here, your, cent, your same heart uh, or, or originating place, there's an equal counterbalancing energy that is necessary to be a man. This is an energy that goes down and out into the world. It's low on the floor. She vibrates. It has a vibration. Everything about it is lower. Your voice is lower. Everything's lower. This is your sexual desire, which in the West is a bad thing. Toxic. You rapist. <laughs> right? This is you wanting to bend the world over. This is you seeing a heart-shaped ass and say, I like this. I like that. That's your, it's, and I'll tell you this, it's, it's given to you by God. You fail, God, women, men, society, everything, when you like block off that energy, which we all do. Our Western society has been taught, you, eyes front, respectful, don't have any kind of this sexual energy at all, and it's wrong. It's wrong. Your sexual energy that moves onto the, it's, like, it's kind of like bass that flows on the floor, boom, boom, boom. And women can feel it. They can feel it when they're in the, in, the, in the energy of a man who has that sexual vibration that floats on the floor. But here's the key, and here's the key. You need both, both energies. If you're only this upper energy guy, which all the dating advice out there, all the mainstream media, how to be more humorous, how to take Toastmasters, how to be, tell a joke, how to be more tell story, storytelling, how to be more interesting, how to be, where to, girl to take, where to take a girl on a date, is all, all of the instruction for men is how to be more of this nice guy upper energy. If you're only upper energy, when you say to a girl, hey, I like you, would you like to go for coffee? And she says, I have a boyfriend. You're top heavy and you fall over. You flinch, oh, I didn't mean anything by it. You didn't mean anything by it? You didn't, you, I, I have a boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know he had a boyfriend. You're sorry because she had a boyfriend? Oh, okay, okay, I respect that and I'm doing my job as a man. So this upper energy is what's being taught. This is why we have a generation of nice guys. You're either in your basement suite playing World of Warcraft, not going out and meeting girls, or you're being taught upper energy things, which are good things, but if they don't have the counterbalance of that beautiful lower thrusting energy, that spanking energy, if you don't have that, then you're a nice guy. Women are dating nice guys, and, and men are learning, okay, how to go down on a woman how to, her, her anatomy, they're reading all these books and programs and like how to please a woman, how to massage her with right oils and candles for the right, they're pleasing women. 
And women say, I want that guy. Yeah, 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 sign me up. No, you don't. You don't want that guy. Guy goes down to you for 45 minutes. You could get yourself off in two minutes with your fingers. But it's nice. It feels good. Yeah, it's cool. But you have no, there's nothing in him that make, think, makes you think, this guy's incredible. You see? Nothing in us that makes women say, wow, I can't stop thinking about that guy. He's never... That's what's missing. So, and if you're only lower energy, you're a creep. If you don't have it balanced, if you're the sexual guy, uh, look at a women's boobs, and you don't have a balance with charm and humor and empathy and kindness and full respect, you're a creep. But if you have both, our generation has only upper energy. There you go. That's what we have. Welcome to my history. Only upper energy. So afraid to show that we have this sexual desire too, which is, like I said, given by God. So afraid to show it. In society, you can't say it. Oh, no, that's bad. Right? Is this landing with you guys? Make sense? This is why we're here. It's why we have this problem in our lives, which we're trying to sort this thing out. It's why women are going, where's the real men? Every country I go in the world, the women are saying, where are the real men? Women are doing both roles. They're being the man and the woman because the men are not showing up. Woody Allen said, Woody Allen said this.